All right, so I'd like to talk about student engagement. I'm not coming to you as a hackathon organizer. Um, I'm new this season, so hopefully we at Oxford Books will be having one in the spring season. Might close to my mouth. Is that better? Yeah. Excellent. So I'm Arianna. Um, I'm a student at Oxford Brooks. I was in America for two years studying for one of them, and I hacked myself into a job for the second one, which was pretty cool. I like snowboarding. So what I'd like to kind of present to you is student engagement as a thing and why we should be thinking about it as organizers, because for a lot of universities, um, is that okay or too loud? Yeah. Perfect, okay. So student engagement is a huge thing for universities, engaging students means that they have a better student experience. And for a lot of organizations, it's, it's important. Um, I think, I get around, I've been around, if you talk about traveling and living in other countries, people usually just glaze over, like they're sick of it and don't want to know. But um, I've been in the States, I've been kind of around, so I have some top tips. There's only three, don't worry. What is student engagement? Um, it's a bit of a buzzword for some people. Um, it sounds good, but sometimes people don't actually know what it means. Does anyone know what student engagement is? If I asked you to tell me now, would you know? Anyone? Hands up if you would. No one. Excellent. Okay, you would. Go you. Awesome. So, we're going to use it as a talking point today. So, it's really quite important. Um, if someone's engaged, if your students are engaged, it means that they're learning. So, learning happens when you work to investigate an idea that someone's told you or something you think is interesting. So this is where learning happens, and sometimes in classrooms, we don't have it. So learning is proportional to engagement, therefore engagement is vital. Engagement in and out of the classroom is important. And what kind of engagement can you get outside of a classroom for a computer science student? Hackathons, right? Excellent, cool. So Vicky Charla wrote a paper in 2010 about student engagement. She says these things enhance engagement for students. So student learning is students taking part in their own learning, being active learners, working in collaboration, and also playing a part in, in how they're learning. So structure and identity. Identity is something that are the all students in a learning community. If they feel like they're part of a community, they're more likely to kind of engage and learn, right? That's what students are paying for. Um, that all sounds quite familiar. So let's MLH this up. Student learning, how are students put actively learning at a hackathon, right? It's kind of self-explanatory, isn't it? So we have students collaborating, we have active learning, and we have other students organizing events. Structure. We have people in leadership roles, we have identity, we have people representing their schools. This is what the league table is all about, right? Schools not fighting against each other, but it's competitive, it's good, right? It's good for business. Um, I'm really bad at public speaking, let's go. Hackathons, ha <laughs> thank you. So, I think this is so important. I wouldn't say passionate, but I'm getting there. So hackathons enable learning. You have students who are going to classes and paying all of this money for lessons, and what do they have? They have assignments, and they have essays, and how do you sell that to a company? If you have your students telling employers, hire me because I can write an essay, um, it's not so good. But if you say, I made a hand-controlled 3D printed robot thing that does what I tell it to, and I can scrap my mum from it while I'm at uni, isn't that pretty awesome as a side project? So this stuff you can do at hackathons. If you can engage with your attendees, you might have more people turning up to your events. One minute? One minute. OK. Team engagement can smooth your day out. Instead of you taking control of everything and no one knowing where you are and not having such a good day, your team will know where you are. If you engage with your people, then they are a better team for you. And the whole legacy thing, you can pass this off and start building a culture around something that you yourself started. And I think that's a super great idea. Any questions? Or thoughts? Anything, really. Wonderful. Who's next?